What about now? I think my mic is a little bit quiet. Uh, I've put it a little bit higher, but uh, <laughs> do, you, do I hear something in the background? We can't hear you. Okay. So yeah, I think that the, the, the music, uh, the music of the, uh, oh, the music was just too loud. The good stuff. All right. You know what? Frick it. We're going to start the thing. We're going to start the thing with a big intro. <laughs> Welcome to a new show of game development! Who's ready for some Infernex? Boom! We're gonna make some Infernex today! I hope this is not too loud. I hope this is not too loud for you guys. Uh, it's a bit loud here. Every single time I start a stream, I'm like, oh, every, the, the audio is messed up. Like, all the time. No intro music. Okay, so there was no intro music. <laughs> And here I am saying that I hope it's not too loud. It's always too loud. I know, right? <laughs> I should just take like five freaking minutes and fix it. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm working on e-learning. Hey, the gamer, what's up? What's up, Mongoose, Monkey Man, eBay91. I hope it's not too loud. Can't hear a damn thing over here. <laughs> yeah, I always, audio is always messed up. And you, uh, you know what? Meh, that's part of the show, right? That's part of the live show. Everything is just chaotic. Everything is just like destroyed all the time. But uh, hey, we survive and we go through it with a big smile. Skip to play. What's up? Emily, what's up? Larkland, what's up? What's you all up? All of you, what's up? What's up, you? Uh, okay, guys, so what I want to do today, uh, today, as uh, a kind of, um, I'm not going to say a special stream. But uh, I want to try something new today. Um, Etienne, the director of Infernax, the main guy behind Infernax uh, here at Berserk Studio, he asked us, he asked me to create a new feature called a bestiary. You know, the typical bestiary in a game where you can see all the enemies, uh, like a codex, if you want. Uh, like all the enemies that you see with a little description with like how many times you died from blah 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 stuff like that you know so it, it, it challenged you to go check out all the monsters in the game and he wanted that in the game like a little a bestiary so I was, I was like yeah of course I can do that I can take care of that and then I was like you know what I may be able to take care of that in a single stream like in two hours so that's what I'm gonna try to do today so it's a feature challenge Feature challenge! I don't know, like, uh, we need a, we need a little intro for that. Feature challenge! Feature challenge! With Latch! Something like that. But, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I just want to try, like, uh, I have something to do from start to finish. Can you say beast? I said beast. There we go. Uh, feature creep. <laughs> I like it as well. Like, I'm the feature creep. Like, <laughs> with the, the, the Latch creepy face. Uh... But yeah, so I wanted to try this up. Like, uh, it's a bestiary, so I need to create the UI. The UI has not been done at all. So I need to create the UI entirely. And then I have to make it functional with all the monsters. And then I want to be sure that it's easily maintainable as well. So if we add a new monster through before here and before the release, uh, it's going to be easier for us to update the uh best year so we're gonna do 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 this today guys bust law feature create what's up my friend creature feet them ah uh, infernax it's been too long i know right i know but uh dude dude we are working on it okay <clears throat> so the first thing first i want to do is change my scene <gasps> but there we go that's been done there we go. So far, so good. Changing scene. Done. Like this. All right. So what I'm going to do is open Flash. But Flash is dead. <laughs> now open Animate. All right. I still use Animate. We still use Animate. It's a fantastic program to animate stuff. Duh. That's why it's called Animate. And uh, we love it. What programming language are you using for this? I'm, we are using Unity and C Sharp, my friend. Welcome back to Twitch. Hey, thank you, man. Remix Semi. Thank you very much. I, I tried to stream a little bit more. And uh, so far, so good, actually. I think I made like a three uh, three video, three stream 
in uh, in you know in a week. And also, I have uh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, of course, the I have a um, a video editor helping me as well to create a more uh, like some highlights and more uh, more uh, consumable, more YouTube friendly content of the stream. So I want to try to make uh, like a bank of like ten video that then we can just like pop every week or something like that so we have a, ch a youtube channel where i can just like uh, uh put the highlights of the streams you know uh okay there we go so we got this uh is it in this format i don't remember so i'm gonna open the interface i don't remember i'm pretty sure it's not in 4k yeah it's not in 4k Okay, so we're gonna switch that up into to something. Yeah, it is not in 4K because anyway, it's a pixel game. So in 4K or not, mm, mm. I actually don't know. I said that, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna have to make some uh, bite-sized latch snacks. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> man. I like to I like to say that like uh, five times. Okay, so uh, first thing first, I'm gonna create a new FLA. So guys, I said it was a chill stream. I lied. It's not a chill stream. It's gonna. It's a. It's a. It's a. Ch it's a challenge to death. It's a challenge. It's a feature challenge. Feature challenge. So uh, best theory. I believe this is how it's called. So best theory right over here. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create. We're gonna say you have to export the SFN the Swift. Uh, right over there boom so if i export the swift yay there's nothing there for now but if i go here and then i go into the swift the swift is over there all right so now the other thing i want to do now is just uh, let's just try to draw anything all right we're gonna put the stage like a like this okay and then uh you know we're gonna we are going to draw something very professional something very professional we're gonna try to draw something very <laughs> something very professional all right because that's where we are like this let's put a smile it was a face you pervert it was a face all right so we got our face here uh swoop I'm gonna put that that at zero zero whoop like this and then uh, I'm gonna put that here at zero zero and then I'm gonna create a symbol that I will call UI uh, bestiary voila and then I go here in the library I'm gonna create a folder called exported because that's how I name my stuff in flash and uh, we're gonna put that there we're gonna put that right in the middle we're gonna save this and then finally we're gonna make our little comment here called uh, export in c sharp we're gonna take this and we're gonna put that into our game really really quick omj lash over here drawing faces <laughs> monkey man got it let's snack cereal bars our kids love them <laughs> Uh, we need to Photoshop of that cat kitten with latch snacks. Okay, so we have a little folder here called Flash Animation Edit. We put everything here. So if I want to create an animation in Flash and have it in Unity, I have to put it right over here. And uh, so we have a list of all the animation I can call from my stuff. And I have to specify specify from which FLA I need to get it because one FLA equal one sprite sheet. Everything I'm seeing right now is from an engine that we have here at Berserk Studio. It's a Berserk engine. It's, that's how we, we called it. Uh, very, uh, you know, we thought a long time before thinking about Berserk engine. But uh, it's something um, that can export uh, animation from Flash or Animate and to put that into uh, Unity. Uh, so now I'm going to create a, a new FLA. And for the sake, uh, no, we're just gonna do it like this. Bestiary, bestiary. There we go. So I have my new FLA over here. 
that's a reference to the FLA and that's a reference to my animation. So if I create more faces, for example, I'm going to do like another line of this and just reference to the same model FLA right over here. So now I have a little button that does lots of stuff automatically. It creates uh, something called texture. If I have animation, it can go into the symbol thing here. And then it goes into my little flash to Unity here uh, tool. So it has to export XML and then it has to export textures. So if I go check out the texture, my little face should be in the bestiary. Look at that beautiful PNG. Mwah! It's right over there. So it has exported it at it's at, it has exported it as a PNG. But since we have multiple stuff, uh, multiple texture that we're gonna have to put on the screen, we don't have to have separate texture uh, because it just make the draw calls of the GPU way too high and it's gonna lag. So what you do is a sprite sheet, something called a sprite sheet. So what I'm gonna do here, I have a little tool uh, that I like that I love, which is called uh, Texture Packer Sprite. I did not make that tool, but it's a very freaking cool tool. Uh, so here I'm just I'm gonna open the right one. Where is it? Yes, Sherry. So there we go. You can see my beautiful face right over here. That is so beautiful. So this thing here would just take all the texture from my FLA and just cram it up into a sprite sheet. So for example, if I open Heroes Enemy TPS here, you can see that all the stuff, like way more stuff here. Uh, or there, you know, lots of enemies and all that. If I had, if I, uh, I if I were to load every th single texture up and down like this, uh, the draw call again, the draw call, the GPU would just go like woo, insane, and it takes like it makes the game lag. So what you do is you put everything into the sprite sheet, you send that single texture into your GPU in memory, and then you just tell GPU, okay, draw a circle. Draw like this part only, draw this part only, draw this part, blah, blah, blah. So it's way easier for the GPU to do that than to load separate PNGs, separate files. Um, so there we go. I have my bestiary over here. I have my face. So now it's going to export into Unity. So it's going to export the thing plus all the position of every single PNG in a sprite sheet. All that data is exported here in Unity, and here's something new and magical just happened as well. I have something in Unity that uh, um, I have a script in Unity that uh, just takes the sprite sheet and the data and, and crunch it so I can just call it on the screen. Whew! We're gonna get there, guys. We're gonna get there. Okay, so uh, first thing first, in its small, can I do custom? Yeah, uh, so what I want to do. I'm gonna open init small here. Init Simon. Init Simon. Init, 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 init. That one big cheat. Uh, where's the custom? Okay, custom call like this. No custom call. I think I have to do it here. Is that it? Mm, yeah, on custom store. Oh, I am beautiful. Okay. So, just so I can do the test really quickly. Uh, can I do the test real quickly? Yeah, so just to show you guys, I'm gonna do like a new flash animation. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna skip because uh, it's the challenge. So I have to do it real quick. So I'm gonna create a class called uh, Bestiary. Bestiary. Yeah, there you go. Uh, bestiary. Boom. And I believe that this should implement not implement but uh go from another place hang on uh no 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 uh stats i think okay e extreme okay cool i think i have it okay so bestiary will be at last that expand from extend from this and now this says like hey, i don't understand what you're talking about so i need to pass the actual visual inside here there we go. So I have a UI. The UI will be very uh, boring, but it should be working. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I go like this. I open this and I go pray. What's your keyboard latch? I don't know. It's an ASIO. You can see right here. It's a. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I randomly bought it. I did not really uh, take my time to buy one and all that. Just uh, I just I think I just tap tap down like mechanical keyboard. 
buy now. Something like this. Okay, and of course it does not work because the asset was not loaded. There we go, that's why. So, um, just for the sake of it, model flash animation and I'm right over here, here real quick, I'm just gonna do this into persistent. So the problem we have right now is the FLA. My FLA, I can tell the game, this FLA or this sprite cheat has to be loaded indefinitely. That's why it's called persistent. So at the beginning of the game, it loads it and never unloads it. For example, some interface or the pause menu, which, it, which can be triggered like anywhere in the game, or the hero character, which will be like most likely always on the screen. So uh, those screen, if I just want to do a shortcut and say, I, and don't, if I just want to do a shortcut and not handle the uh, load and deal thing, I just call it and say, this is persistent, you know? So it's a, it's a quick, dirty shortcut, but when you want to do something fast and test and everything, you don't want to take care about asset loading and everything. Plus, this is a pixel game, so all the assets are really, uh, really low. So I believe that in theory, we could just load the entirety of the game uh, right at the beginning of the game and just like don't even mess up with loading and deleting. In theory. But that's bad coding, alright? Don't do that. It's bad. It's bad. Hey, look at that. There you go. Feature complete. It's done. Do, 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 do. Yay! So the cool thing now is the link between Animate and uh, and Unity is done. So if I go here into my uh, my UI bestiary here, so instead of having just this, let's do a small animation where I do a classic twin and I'm gonna make it to like rotate one time. Wow, like this, you know, that's a very beautiful thing. So I, when I finish this, I just do my little button here, boom, 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 and then bam, it's uh, right in the game. Oh, it just exploded? Why? Eh? What? Oh, yeah, I know why. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, I know why. Woo! Woo! Almost lost my face here. Because this is like a, uh, I'm gonna make it like an Adam face lol, like this. And here, I'm gonna put it like here. Oh no, fuck it. Just for the sake of the argument, I just want to do it really quick because I wanted to show you that it's working. So I go here and this, I'm gonna say it's a symbol. So I do this and then I go here and I do this. And it still doesn't work. Hey, come on. Of course, right? Of course. I want to show how easy it is. So it's not working. That's that's how it is. <laughs> Why is it not moving? Did I forgot to do the animation, actually? Oh, stupid latch. I forgot to actually make the animation. All right. Now it should be good. Let's try it again. Go. God damn it. There we go. Huh? Who's the boss? Face? I'm the boss. You spin and you stop spinning when I say you will. Hide that face in your game. It's so beautiful. All right, let's do it. And a, there was a point, guys, where me and Mark, every time we were sending assets to each other, Mark, for example, sent me a, a sword, all right? Like a big sword. And uh, the sword was just like really beautiful, you know, with the talent and textures and all that. That was very good. But if you remove like one layer of the sword in Animate, behind the sword was a very beautiful D in the, in the uh, shape of the sword. So I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you imagine how it was working. <laughs> but every time he sent me something, like a tree, a house, or again, a sword, something like that, inside, like behind the actual texture was like a beautiful D, a beautiful hidden D in there in the shape of the house. So you have to imagine how you can do that. Uh, it was like, that's talent right there. That is talent well spent. Okay, so we have that now. So we're going to get removed. I'm going to have to say goodbye to my face.
goodbye, my face. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna keep it here, all right? I'm gonna keep it here in the do not export, all right? So it's gonna be hidden. It's a secret between you and I, guys, all right? It's a, it's a secret between you and I. The face is not destroyed. All right, so this and also the same with, uh, with anim over here, no, like this. All right, so no, not sorcery. I'm clicking everywhere. No, 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 I don't want that. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open, not the swift, I'm gonna go into the FLA, I'm gonna go to the hero enemy, I believe. Uh, he put a male genitals in my shield I paid for. <laughs> yeah, I remember that monkey man. <laughs> oh my god, spoilers, 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 spoilers. Lots of spoilers, 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 all spoilers, lots of spoilers. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try to do this, this, this. No, uh, are you idle? Yeah, you're running. Okay, perfect. You and you. I actually never saw those assets. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. You are you attack? You do the attack. Oh man, you're punching. All right. And what about you? You you dead? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Your face is. Nah. Oh, I got nothing. Uh, and this is idle. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, this, and you are attack as well. Uh, the point is I want like a small animation, so probably this, this is run, okay. And you are, you are die, you are walk. You are die. Welcome to die. So this, this, and this. Alright, I'm gonna pick those just as asset I can play with. Okay, like this. So... Mr. Etienne told me that ideally what we want to do is like we have a book. I cannot draw anything, right, guys? I am a very bad drawer. Drawer. Isn't the drawer like this? Can I say drawer for someone who draw? Or I just have to say the artist. Screw it. I'm gonna say drawer. Um Okay, so something like this, you know, with all the elements. Uh guide. Alright. Put like this, like this. So you have like all the little dude over here, and we got like another page over here, for example. And uh, also, like on the next frame, for example, on the next frame, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna not do that on the same. Fr uh, yeah, fuck it. Okay, so this here, I'm gonna call it like uh, pages, UI pages. Why? Because that will be page one, that will be page two, page three, and all that. Okay, so uh, now this dude over here, flying idol. Yeah, cool. Uh, so you, you will go on page two, because some of the monster will be bigger. Can I watch other... Uh, that dude over here. There you go. Yeah, I'll take this dude. Uh, this dude over here. Boop. All right. So this, I'm just trying to do like small enemy page, big enemy page, and sometimes like bosses. So it will depend, you know. And also, we, the controller has to match. Uh, sometimes I will have like four enemies here. Sometimes I will only have two, etc., etc. So, yep. Hey, Lavinosaurus! What up? What up? What up, my friend? Who has the biggest balls? Uh, so like this, and I'm gonna take this as well, and I'm gonna put that there. Boom, and then boom. Just for the sake of it, I'm just gonna switch it like this, so uh, I'm just making some placeholder, guys. Alright, so now... Uh, I'm gonna... Take my horse to the whole down road. I'm on a ride to the cake no more. Are you doing, Latch? I'm doing fine, my friend. I'm doing fine. Uh, have a little bit uh, of difficulty having some uh, motivation being motivated during these uh, weird time. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but uh, man, so so far so good, man. It's all good. It's all good. I am privileged as hell to be able to work from home. And uh, continue to do what, what I'm doing. You know, I am privileged. Uh, okay.
Okay, so like this, um, I think this here will be better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, hang on. This, no. Okay, yeah, this as well. This. Oh, I can take this one as well. Okay, uh, I'm just going to remove um, the help. Okay. Uh, how, why, what's up? Uh, uh -huh, I don't get it. I don't get it. What's the middle here? Huh? There's two of them? Say what? Level box one and level box one. There's two of them. Okay, that's uh, I, I just found a bug. I just found a bug in, in here. That's that's pretty weird. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, the thing I wanted to do is this. Uh, that here, I don't know if I need that. Oh, because the box is inside in here. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this. This thing. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I want to copy paste that entire thing. And I'll put that there. Boom. And then I will remove this entire thing here. Can I? Or is it baked in the... No, it's not baked. Okay, so if I do this... Yeah, okay, there we go. Boom. I'm going to remove all this. So I got that. And I got this. All right. So the point I'm doing right now is having like a button. So like a state where I have like a... But uh, it makes no sense what I just said. Hang on. Rup. Rup. Like this. I'm gonna try to space them out a bit. And same thing over there. Just gonna try if I can do all the things. And right over there as well. Look at that. Isn't that the beautiful bestiary? Mwah. It looks so good. Okay, so uh, like this, so uh, those are buttons, uh, and the buttons are just have uh, in this in this game they only have two state, which if it's selected or not. Uh, so like if you move your cursor over it, like with your controller, when it's not selected, it's gonna be like this, and when it is, it's gonna be like this. So that's why I have like an entire button like this. And usually, like in bigger like in, in game that uh, have more animation. Uh, by this I mean like more, not pixel because with, with the pixel feeling you want to uh, reflect the limitation that the old days the retro days in the 80s had so you have to show some limitation and uh, usually in other game you can put like uh, shading or like animations in, in buttons and everything but in this case it doesn't really fit because it makes like a weird uh, clash between modern and old you know so right now I only have two state and the rest is just like ignored uh, but I do need those buttons as well so I'm just gonna real quick I'm going to name them <coughs> uh, like uh, I don't know uh, item zero item one item two and item three one zero one two and three. Oh my god it's so beautiful okay so i got that inside that i do have here okay so i got the magic here which is a title and this is a cost all right that should be good okay so i'm put this uh, and this isn't button good now i just exported a bunch of stuff that i don't need so in my library I had uh, apparently this is not used anymore so you're out and also all those beautiful texture that I just removed earlier they are still here and if I don't remove them from the FLA it's gonna be exported so get out you're out you're fired so that's done uh, and also this I guess you're out okay uh, so that should be good I got this texture and uh, no those are uh, those are stupid faces let me just like do this uh okay enemies oh yeah the enemies as well i don't need to do all of that i think those will just go into uh symbol yeah because i don't need to refer it in uh in code i just want them to hang around there like inside the animation uh ui page you are a symbol uh that's all good 
that's all good and that seems to be good the corner selected corner all that oh. okay 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 so this is a guide like the huge the huge thing here is just a guide so it's not going to be exported uh but the rest should so if i do this try to export that try to clean that all right open this up and uh, there's no problem all right if i do this now uh we got 25 uh, texture now why let's go check it out i have all those textures that i just imported right over there so yay if i run the sprite sheet bestiary you can see that, that it has been updated with a more uh with all the thing we have you know <sighs> okay so if i do this uh did i do the entire thing yeah i'm gonna go into unity it's gonna do this and then i press play can i by the way yeah it should when i press play it takes forever that's weird oh yeah it's flicking it's magic it's beautiful Mwah! it's beautiful so the reason it's doing that right now is because i made three page but i did not say don't do this so it just go forever so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna call it like page mc mc stands for movie clip and i'm gonna re-export this so now the magic is i can refer to that little thing here with this i can refer it into my code so if i go here and i'm gonna create like a getter call this page mc so here i'm just gonna say go to uh this reference go to and stop like the good old day from, from flash so if i do like this go back here compile drink coffee <sighs> voila the page system has been is, is working now so everything is just running so uh, what we want now first we want a black background uh but that should be taken care of anyway so i'm not gonna bother much with it um hang on can i do platform specific no no i don't think i can do that although i like, change color where where do i have that isn't it in util color Set color, set color, set color, set color, set color, set color, set color. No, 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 put zero. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't remember where. Uh, just for the sake of it, you know, my uh, so right now my my scene is like this, and um, uh, my scene over here is blue. So, just for the lulzy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a small texture. A small 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 shape usually i put it at uh, 30 20. uh don't ask me why it's just, just uh, something that i know it works i'm gonna put it black i'm gonna create a texture out of it of this i'm gonna create a vector out of this and then guys we're gonna do like, something called a black screen <laughs> uh and inside black screen what i'm gonna do is just stretch that freaking texture to the void Rawr, like this Raw. So it's gonna be a texture, but since it's been stretched like forever like this, uh, and then I put that behind, behind like this, and covering the entire screen, boop, like this. Whatever stage color I have, this texture here is just immense, so it should be working. Uh, now I think I have to say that this is a symbol. There we go. Re-export that like this re-export all the texture as well do your job flash unity thank you and then i got this and then i can re-export why the hell is it taking forever yay now it's black so if i go check out in the scene for example you can see whoa you can see in my scene that my texture here is just covering the camera you know so if i remove this boop boop you know like this boop boop so uh, it does the job and also if i go check out uh here in the stats you can see that i have only one draw call where do i see it i cannot see it no i can't see it okay uh anyway there's only one it should be only one draw call oh probably because of the uh yeah set pass call because of the these is that it anyway the point is everything is from the same sprite sheet so we got that working guys i'm gonna go check out the chat now because i feel like i haven't uh, look at you guys for a while while I refill my coffee.
Uh, bro, bro, the stuff you're starting to become the same as me. You're starting to forget. Actually, you know the song Rock the Boat? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Rock the Boat by News Corporation. Rock the Boat! Uh, pff, I don't know. Probably, maybe if I hear it. But, uh, right like this? No. Is it like a roller boat? No. Rock, rock, rock the boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. I have a feeling it's not what you're talking what you're thinking. Okay, so I have item one, item two, blah, blah, blah. Time to do the button thingy. So let's go back into our bestiary right over here. I believe here I have something called button group. Can I add stuff into this button group? I don't remember how. In it, okay, button. There we go. Okay, so I think what I can do is in it, okay, button. Um, okay, since uh, I don't like... Okay, we're gonna create a view for the button. So we're gonna call it view bestiary group but, uh, button group uh, bestiary select. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we're gonna always change the view select like this. Create a new class, please. This will be uh, something called. I'm waiting, computer. All right, view group base, I believe. So if I go with view group base like this, uh, and then I, no, it's not there. No, I don't have it. Oh no, I do have it. The, what the hell? Okay, whatever. Um, should I do this? No, not for now, fuck it. I'm just gonna do like a view base for now. Butch. Butch. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, refer to the item I just did earlier. So like this. Uh, one, whoa, 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 whoa. one, two, three, four. Now I need to do zero. I don't guess zero. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, zero. Let's see, but it's like sick. Uh, there we go, like this, fixed formatting, no, I don't like this formatting at all. Fixed formatting. Uh, generic constructor, there we go. And now, just for the lazies, uh, can I do screen? Yeah, I can do screen. Init, uh, boo, whatever, public, UI, uh, UI best cherry, I guess, yeah be UI so this will be called to screen as a UI bestiary like this and then I go this in it okay button with item zero one two three boop, 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 boop. and this should be button select I believe I guess button select button select button select button 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 select boom there you go so that should be good no, what's your problem here? UI. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Just everything is public. Fuck that. Everything is public. Yo. Boom. Clear. Hey, Elitium, what's up? First time on your stream. How you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm trying to do a feature like very, very fast. Uh, I'm trying to code a, a bestiary for our game called Infernax. Okay, so, uh, oh, a typical coding problem. You create an entire class and then you don't refer to it. Mwah. That is so, so, so typical. So I think I need to do uh, this and also pages, right? Because the pages here, yeah, they're there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, since it's a bit weird, I'm gonna put it there. You missed the rest of it. Ah, the rest of what? <laughs> what framework Andrew is it based on? Yeah, it's a it's a custom thing. Nuts the squirrel. What's up, my friend? Infernax? Yes, it is. Yay! Look at that. And also, I can navigate. What? Nice. 
I can navigate through it. Okay, so guys, just for you, I'm gonna put that there. All right, just for you. I think I have, I think I have a layout for that. Twitch. No, not white. Twitch. Yay! Look at that. Sweet. So you'll be able to see what I'm seeing. All right. So if I press the uh, arrow key, I can select from all of them. Uh, there's a light. There's a slight. That's weird. There's a very, very slight thingy here. I can see. Can I see the same here, then? No. What the? Uh, 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 why isn't there something not cool here? Everything is 100%. Percent. Oh, Will Rodriguez. What's up, Will? Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome aboard. Okay, so there's a slight, uh, you can see a, a slight pixel that I hate here, but uh, I'm not gonna take care of it for now. Uh, okay, so now I can see, uh, those are views. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is a view group base like this, and this will have to be a view bestiary item. <clears throat> And uh, I'm gonna generate this. So I'm gonna generate this uh, to a view base. I'm waiting for you, computer. View base, like this. Put. Voila. All right, and now I need to generate the constructor. There you go. All right, so this will represent every single button like this. Uh, this little, you know, guys, this little thing over there. So uh, this has costs. TXT. Actually, I'm not gonna do cost. I'm gonna do like uh, I don't know desk because it's not gonna be. I cannot buy them, so it's just better to have like a better name. So diet title and then desk. Uh, I don't know what's gonna be in desk. Maybe nothing, but maybe like the number of time you killed it. Maybe something. Whatever information will be stored there for. So for now, I'm just gonna call it desk. So I have title and I have desk. So here, I'm gonna take the title here. I'm gonna add something to refer to that title right over there. And same thing right over there. Uh, text should fill, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna recreate what I just did here, all right? So I, I've typed this quite a little bit fast, right? That I, I typed that down. So what I do is I made a template called get text field. If I do this template right over there, it's gonna create this and then I can type whatever the fuck I want here. It's gonna duplicate in here as well Boop, You know, so uh, that's a very very convenient thing so I can just create either get movie clip like, th like this uh, And type down whatever the fuck I want so it's gonna work or I can do the text field So it's just something that I always <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's something that I used to do like a copy paste from somewhere else but uh, now with those little templates that you can do into the tool here and customize, I don't know where, uh, but you can create a bunch of stuff like this. Uh, I can have like an entire class as well. I have something called model enum. If I do like this and go like model base, boom, I have an entire class already done because I tend to create those type of class really, uh, really often. Those are classes that are to enumerate stuff, for example, all the list of enemies there is in your game, for example. You know? uh, so those temp those type of class is you uh, really really uh, <clears throat> really uh, useful. All right. So here now this view here a view uh, is uh, in my um, in my system. All right, guys. By the way, don't ten don't take everything like for word for word for word here. Uh, it's been 11 years that I am my own boss. So I learned like a lot of game development by myself. Uh, I did read some book here and there, but I did have no, I did, I did not have any boss. So I, I implemented my own nomenclature, my own standard, my own names in my, uh, in my way of coding. All right. Uh, some are really heavily uh, taken from uh, from stuff that exists already out there. For example, the uh, mo uh, uh, what's it called again model component uh, view. I think is that NCV. Uh, so for me, a view is where you take the data and you just show it on the screen. That's the only task it has to do. So 
you know, when you have a class, it should do one thing and one thing only. That's like a big principle that I really love. If you call a function, a function should do one thing and one thing only. That's it. Uh, so if you tend to separate your code like this, uh, it's become like way easier to read it back and to maintain as well. So if you call a function that says add one to number, it should do exactly that and nothing else. Not like clearing memory or something like that. No, those are called side effect where your function says it's going to do one thing, but it also like change the index number, for example, or change the text or something like this. You know, when you call a function, it should do one thing and one thing only. I made an entire an entire freaking YouTube video out of that for in uh, you you in in your face. And we I made an entire indie your face video about cleaning your code. I made actually two of them, so uh, you should check it out. Uh, sorry. Okay, so now I got in my refresh here. What I'm gonna do is uh right now just to check if it works correctly i'm just gonna put like random uh words inside those uh so yeah so everything goes correctly it should show those random uh random this ramblings letters right over there a new sub lavinosaurus <laughs> what is up what is up thank you very much my friend for the sub I swore I was sub. Yeah, I think you were sub as well. Yeah, that that I would have I would have swore as well. I would have put my hand on the fire, saying like, yes, Lavina, this guy he is. All right, so I have this. So right now it should just say like, if I if I my link is correct, it should show this information. We're gonna take care of binding the correct information later on, but for now let's just do this. Um, now uh, I'm gonna add a view. And the view will be new bestiary item. I'm gonna push this and I'm gonna push item zero in there. And usually I don't, uh, I'm gonna do like create view, actually. Yeah, uh, and not this, I'm gonna pass the UI. All right, create view like this. Uh, and you know what? I don't need to, all of this. I'm just gonna push this instead. So I'm gonna restart this again, like this, uh, boom, whoops, ah, like this. All right, so this takes this, uh, uh, now I'm gonna put like a P visual, I'm gonna put the P visual over there, I'm gonna call it like the result will be there. I'm gonna pass back the result, the result will be this thing over here, like this. And also I'm gonna do the result uh visual button uh, ui screen init okay button will be like this all right so if it should be good i'm gonna create four of them like this uh i don't know if i did do the refresh here but let's do it again boom and then let's go back to unity does it work Oh, it does not work. Damn it. Okay, so the, the button are still there though. The button are still there and it navigates really weirdly. No, it does it does work. All right, cool. Okay, so the navigation works, but the text here doesn't. And I know why. I made the function. You know what I just said earlier? I said it's a typical thing to do to code an entire class and then not call the function or not call the the class. It happens to me all the time. And it already happened to me twice today. My brother-in-law wanted to... Yay! Look at that! Isn't that the most beautiful thing we've ever seen? Uh, now I don't understand why the first one is not, though. Do -do 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 -do. There's We have one rebel right over there. The rest is all working correctly. But uh, we have one rebel right over there. Damn it. Uh, let's go back to the chat. My brother-in-law wanted to thank you for what you are doing in the charity stream you did. Oh, man, my pleasure. My pleasure. <coughs> My pleasure. I love it. Uh, if it puts a smile on my face and also put a smile on every other play, uh, blah, 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 blah. I almost did it. If it put a smile on your face uh, and also on other people's face, uh, I'm happy. That's what I wanted to say. 
Okay, uh, magic here, that's here. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. So why the hell is this one not selected? Bestiary, one, two, three, four, five. And then here, I got this in the refresh. That is quite weird. How about I do it like in the start instead? Start is called like one frame after. What the hell? Why? Why, Lisa? Why? Why? That's pretty weird. Item zero. What the actual F? Zero. One, two, and three. But this one? No, it does not want to do it. That is pretty weird. Uh... Oh, I think I know why. Yeah, I think I know why. All right, I'm gonna try to do this and do that. Title MC, or just like call it text title. Whoa, 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 whoa! Pretty sure that's gonna break. Text title. And this one I'm gonna put like text desk like this. So desk MC inside of it will just be text. And this will be title MC. And inside of it will just be text as well. Alright, so you will go over there to make some symbols like this. Voila. I believe it's because I call an animation on it afterwards and that's that messed up my stuff. That makes no sense. Let's try that again. Okay, now it's gonna break because I changed the order here. So I'm gonna still again do this title MC and I'm gonna do the same thing for Desk MC, boom, boom. Here I'm just gonna call TXT and TXT as well. So this will go there, this will go there. All right, how about that? Start. Desk, 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 desk. I fixed the problem. I fixed the bug. That's how it works. All right, so bug number four. Right now, if I press down and up, it doesn't work, you know, if I'm here, if I'm here and I want to press down, it should not go to the next one. It should go to the, the up and down, you know. So this is the behavior by default I've put into my screen. If you press up, down, whatever, just go to the next. But I can override this behavior in some cases. So what I'm going to do is exactly that. I remember it's kind of messy, but it does the job because it was quite weird. So, uh, I know that it's in over there. Uh, so, if I do this keyboard shortcut, I'm gonna do it here, I believe. I'm gonna do it here, I believe. I think I'm gonna have to do it like this. Uh, keyboard shortcut, do I need to put this? What do you need? Buttons, all right. So, item zero. And then I put like all the orders, right? I think that's it. Yeah, left will be null, up will be null, right will be item one, and down will be item two. And I'm pretty sure that I need a UI in there. UI shortcut. Yep, that should do it. Boom, 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 boom. And I uh, missed the parentheses over there. All right, so here, one, two, three. Okay, for item one now. You, uh, what was the first one? It was left, right? Yeah. Left is item zero. And then up is null. And then right is null. And then down is three. For this, the, the, this one, left is null. Up is item zero. And right is item three. And down is null. That will be about the same on the other one. Same, but not totally. 
Left is item two. Up is item one. Right is null. And left is uh, down. Yeah, down is null. Okay. Really not the best guy in uh, in the the other game I'm working on. I actually have something that auto generate like a grid and all that. But since our entire uh, since our stuff. Um, uh, the pages and all that will all change you know sometime with a small grid on the left and like a smaller grid on the on the right or big small whatever i don't think that something generated automatically will work perfectly so i think it will be best if you just do this all right left right up up down left there we go yay now my navigation works perfectly Be -de 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 -de. Yay, I made something else. All right, Lash, the song starts with I would like to know and always respond with where you got the notion and then return to rock the boat earlier said the first part, LOL. Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't have any context or reference, but I will try to educate myself. I program for work too. Trying to program and talk seem nearly impossible. Lash, you're a superstar for being able to do both. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. I actually enjoyed that more these days. Uh, it's weird. Like when I code alone these days, I'm like, uh, I should do a stream instead and just like share my knowledge and all that. Because I feel like my brain is just like overridden with just like bursting in all direction and all that. And I like to share my knowledge. Like at this at this point in my career, I kind of want to just share what I know and like what I do to to everyone. Uh, and I have the luxury that I can do that right now, you know, with Jashibs and Beats being like a, with Jashibs and Beats being a success, uh, I kind of feel I want to give back to the community. I want to inspire more people into getting into game design, into programming and all that, uh, which is something I did not have when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I thought that game designer was just impossible. You know, I thought it was reserved to very freaking genius like outside the continent uh that's what i thought so i never wanted to be a game designer because it was just it just felt out of reach for no absolute reason but that's how i felt at the time and i became a coder because i knew that i was good in informatics and uh, in computer science and all that so i just jumped into computer science randomly and i thought like oh i'm gonna make like a job at, uh, I don't know, at the Silicon Valley or something like that. I'm good in, with code, uh, so I'm just gonna do this. And I, uh, it was up to like three or four years uh, of learning and in, in, in school that I got an offering job at a uh, video game company. And I was like, hey, I wanna try it out. You know, making games, you know, I've been playing games for where I, since I'm two years old, so I'm gonna try it out. Uh, it's right over there. And then I just fell in love with making games. I was just like working 80 hours a week. Uh, every week, you know, and just like, yeah, I just pour all my energy into that. So I was like, okay, I think I found my, my passion. And I just had to uncover like a new world for me uh, of making games, you know. Uh, but if I knew that when I was a kid, maybe I would have started earlier. I don't know. But uh randomly like what i want to say is because of random events it brought me into game design game development but if it was not for that job i would not have gone there because i had no uh other people doing it i could not see like uh other people like on youtube for example uh saying like hey i'm a game dev and this is how you should do it you know i have no other representation of game designer out there so if i can be that guy for a new generation and inspire new people to make awesome game yeah you know so that's what i'm gonna do this is the first 20 second lol uh, i'm gonna check that like maybe after i want to finish this feature challenge first so i got this working on now we're gonna pass like actual data in there uh so i believe i'm gonna have to make a model i told you earlier that uh, i need to make like a that I have a, a kind of classical model something. And for me, model, I know it's weird. Uh, it's not a proper name, but uh, here at Berserk, when I talk about the model, it's something, it's a constant. It's information that will never change. So if, for example, uh, here in the enemy thing, 
I have to create a specific instance for every single enemy. Uh, yeah, I want to show you. <clears throat> okay, fuck it. So if I go there into the bestiary select here, bestiary item, I know I'm going to have to create something called model bestiary item. Uh, it's probably going to be an enemy, but uh, fuck it. Uh, model item or enemy. Yeah, screw it. I want to put... Or entry? Entry should be good, but fuck it. Okay, <clears throat> I have a model here. The model will be called, will be a uh, extended child of model base, like this. Boom. Now I need a reference. All right, sweet. I got all that. Now it's gonna ask, like, hey, I don't have the constructor. Just do it. Just do it. Like this. All right. And now if I go back to view thingy, like this, just for the low Z, I'm gonna do this. Adam, uh, null, whatever. This is gonna say like, hey, I don't know what the hell you're talking about here. Uh, just because I never created last. <laughs> yeah, I never go file, new class, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just write down the name of the class and say generate it for me. It's put it somewhere randomly in the art, in the folders, and I don't care. Uh, just by the way I name stuff, I can know where I'm going in uh in my code you know so if i want to refer to an actual ui i just go ui something and all my uis are there if i want to check out the component of a ui it's going to be view so i'm just going to start with view something uh if i want to ch refer to the data it's going to be model something uh so just by that i know where i am in the codes but i basically never go in there and that's why it's a freaking mess behind me right over there it's a mess. Uh, so sometime I clean that up like afterwards. Sorry, like do it, making some separate, separate folder. Of, like this is there, this is there. But uh, yeah, I rarely do it. <clears throat> okay, I talked to you too early. About, I told you earlier I have something called uh, model enum, something that auto generate for me. So that's gonna be a, a, a first iteration of that. There we go. List, voila, debug proxy. I feel that I don't have the debug proxy in there. The problem here is I, I'm stuck between two engines. Uh, just do add. Yeah. Uh, can I do it without error? There you go. Yeah, for our new projects, uh, we have a new instance of the engine, uh, which is all properly named and all that. And this one will be engine 2.5 while I'm working with three. Uh, the reason we don't uh, upgrade to three is because Infernax has been changing from engine already like four times. And we are closer to having something we can release. Uh, we are getting closer, you know, we're being closer to the end of the production. Changing the engine like another time now will just generate a shit ton of bug. And the Jira will just go, a Jira is a program where you stock bugs and all that. But it will generate bugs like everywhere. And it ends up like with the... Uh, hours and hours of testing and debugging and everything just for the sake of maintenance yeah you know it doesn't really uh, worth it so we're stuck at 2.5 right now and we can do weird stuff uh but my point was like there's some functions and some tools that i have in my uh, in Brazilian engine 3 that i don't have here you know but uh, anyway okay so i'm gonna call like enemy one uh, uh, and we're gonna even put it into like um, like a category. So uh, small, enemy small one, enemy small two, enemy shut up, enemy small three, like this. All right. So fuck it. I'm just gonna call it enemy. I don't just don't care here. Uh, like this. And for now. Uh, one, two, three. And for now, I'm just going to do this. In model, the, in here, what I need is a text instance. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to tell you why is, what is that earlier, later. Uh, I'm going to need the title. So the title will be uh, this. You know, this title equal title. Can I add? No. Yeah, fuck it. Text instance. Like this. Title. This title, title. So a text instance, uh, I could put just a string, right, for uh, for a text and just type down what I want. But a text instance is actually uh, something with translation. So uh, if I go into text factory, boop, 
right there i got all the text of the game right out of there and then we can change that up and put that into translation and uh and yeah we can send that up to all the translation out there and uh we can put that up there but for this i believe the bestiary name will stay the same since it's just a name but it's just a good practice to have everything in there uh bestiary small enemy whoops enemy small i think enemy small one uh we're gonna call it steve yeah the first not the first monster is called steve give me some names guys give me some names i got steve give me three more names i'm gonna put that there come on come on come on give me names give me names uh okay like this uh if i in him bestiary okay so here uh i think you can go factory null well id null there we go and uh uh be the fourth one four four bestiary enemy small two three four four through three like this please can you create i don't know fuck it uh like this instance title all right like this boom should we all be good there we go okay enemy small one two three four five all right we got model here uh now what i'm gonna do is inside the bestiary select inside the bestiary here instead of going like this i'm gonna go model enemy whoops model enemy get title str like this i'm gonna say like hey i don't have this function but you can create it so i'm just gonna go return title dot get text like this all right so that's gonna be there and now here just by default we're gonna go this no like this all right uh yeah so that will be null and uh, here i want to just do a something real quick if is null return string empty all right uh finally in my select over here uh, I got the button, but I also need the model enemy. Model enemy, model enemy. Like this. Uh, no. I actually need result. Dot model enemy is equal to you. Voila. Model, uh, no, not model enemy. Model best here, enemy. Yeah. Model item. All right, there we go, blah, blah, blah. Now here it says like, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. So I'm gonna bind them over, over there. Boop. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, like this. All right, they are binded now. They're there, the title and all that. All right, we're gonna need, we need Carl. <laughs> Carl, all right, I need your, I need your name now. I gave you a task, don't disappoint me. I got Carl, I got Carl, 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 your mom. Why not, I got your mom. And I got dude. Is that it, dude? Let me check. I got Carl, Jack, Becky. Oh, I like it. I get it. Uh, Becky <laughs> and Jack. There we go. I got it. So if everything is correct, guys, we should see Carl, Jack, Steve, and Becky. Steve, Carl, Becky, Jack. Boom. I have first shot at this. Who's the man? I'm the man. <laughs> Getting overly, overly excited about a mildly interesting UI. Oh yeah! Hey Gears, thank you very much for the host, my friend. Welcome aboard. Yeah, best jury is uh, finished, right? It's, oh, it's all finished. Look at that. It just says like, ha ha ha, penis everywhere. We can release that, right? I think we can release that. If we reach 3,000 sub, <laughs> if we reach 100 million sub, we're gonna release it like this. Nice. Ha ha ha, penis. <laughs> Again, I am very, uh, I am very professional. I know what I do. 
I know what the da. I know everything of all the doing of the da. Okay, and also remember late me last. Of course I remember you, man. Gear, it's been forever. It's been forever. You're one of the OG. You've been there like for a long time. Glad to see you again, man. Very happy to see you again. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, okay, so if I do like this, okay, Carl, all that, it all works. Hooray! Now for this description. I don't know what's gonna be in the description yet, but I know that this thing, this information will be here, you know? The information of uh, the description will go over there. So for now, if I go into the, the item over here, instead of, aha, Petis, we had a good time. Haha, Petis, thank you very much for all the funsies. But for now, I'm just gonna do something a little bit more professional. Uh, I'm gonna generate the function over there. And for now, uh you know what i'm just gonna do string empty because i don't know what to put in there maybe the number of kill in there maybe but if so if it's a number of kill it means it's a data that is variable which means it should not be in a model when i started the, earlier i said a model is for me is information that never change it's constants if i put a death count in there this change you start with zero and goes up you know so then i need to put that in a class called meta so a meta will contain model who comes with meta will contain will contain a class called me let me try it again a meta will contain a class called model model will be the information that is always static constant like the name of the character for example uh, the frame, the uh, the image, all that stuff, you know? So that will be... Actually, we need to make a meta thing. Yeah, we need to do it. Ha! <laughs> we need to do it. You know why? Because we need to know which one we know and which one we don't know. We, in the bestiary, I'm not, I'm not gonna go like, uh, you open the game, open the bestiary, and see all the monsters. Like, hey, here's the content of our game. We need to hide stuff. We need to put... Uh, the old question mark here and there, you know, so that information changes. That is not constant. It can be true, false, or it, it can have like a number associated with it. So we actually have way more job to do. We're going to do that. Lash will be interested in an overlay of key presses just so people can witness the blur of infinity while you type. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like a, a camera that goes like this, for example. Uh, yeah, we'll have to have like a second camera, I believe for that and also suggest putting on a t-shirt <laughs> original by Bustla hang on hang on uh, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm talking about the right thing just wanted to say thanks for making that incredible latch tool oh thank you man JS Spears thank you very much a very uh, sad uh, like I am um, if you wanted to work uh, forever you might n you might want to not upgrade your OBS studio forever because I think that uh, it won't be working in, two in 2021 I believe so, unfortunately. But if I'm affected by it, maybe I'm gonna make something for it. But like, I spend so much time in that freaking tool uh, that now I need to convert everything into something else than air. And I don't know. So I don't know. For now, I still use it, and I'm glad that you're using it as well. I really, uh, really appreciated that. Uh, but like, I'm just saying expect it to maybe not work in the future all right by the end of the well maybe not by the end of the year but it's getting uh we're working on on on, on thin ice we're working on thin ice i use slabs and i'm good for now okay sweet 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 a program not a camera oh okay to see the input oh okay uh i don't know if people like want to see that yay uh but uh, I think I prefer not actually, uh, just because uh, I think it will be f it will be nice for like five minutes. But if it's there always on the screen uh, for an entire stream, mm -hmm, I think it's clustering the screen a little bit. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, though. You know, I tend to minimize this stuff on the screen. I tend to remove information the most possible. You know, the old game called just ships and bees for example it was only two color so very very minimal so i tend to to do that if information is there on the screen that uh is nice for five minutes but then not 
Yeah. I could make like another screen, for example, and call it like a, okay, latch on fire screen. And then I see the overput so I can switch from a scene to another. That could work, you know? But uh, always, not sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a little break, five minutes. I really need to pee. I need to get back more coffee and uh, more water and all that. So I'm gonna switch to the other scene, which was loud as hell, but uh, I should figure that out. I'll be back, guys. I'm gonna be back. Uh, stay there. I'll be back like in five minutes. Alright, I'm already back. I'm already back. I need to finish this feature. I told you, it's not gonna be a chill stream. Come on. No time for break. Time for the game dev. It needs to be done. Is my mic out? Is my mic gone? Yeah, okay, my mic's there. Alright, sweet. Alright. So, something I did not want to do, but I think I will have to do, is put those little marvelous dudes over here inside a single glass. That is something I did not want to do, but I think I want to have a choice. So for now, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to put that uh, probably here. Alright. So, those dudes over here, I'm going to tell... I'm going to say like it's an enemy's uh, entry. Group. Whatever. Like 
like this. All right, this will all be, can I put the zero? Yeah, all to zero and finally uh, distribute the keyframe. Boom. All right, so I got all the news right over there. Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, so this will be there. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll always love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I call it icon like this. And I think I should put icon at zero, zero, just for the sake of it, I think it will be better. So like this, like this, like this, when I put all that there, Boop. voila, that's better. All right, so my icon will be there and now all the little dudes over here will be there. And uh, yeah, I think uh, if I put this at tint zero, for example, yeah, I should do it. All right, good. Uh, okay, that's the icon. You, why the hell is your you? Okay, yeah, it's because of that. So I'm gonna remove those. And I'm going to try something. Can I put that there? And this there as well. So I can like. Yeah, I want to try something. Put, 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 put. Really quick. I'm making something so we can. Uh, we can maintain it. We can maintain it in the future. It's going to make sense uh, in a minute. It's gonna make sense or not. It's gonna make sense in a minute. So if I go graphic, well, all of this will be graphic. Graphic. Uh, frame one. All right. So you are graphic. I'm gonna be number two. You are graphic number three. Why the hell? No. <laughs> no. This one here. So entry group. This. 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 And this will be an entry group, not the symbol, but this. Boom, there we go. Okay, so you go there, you go there, and is there another one? No, where is it? It's not there. So what? You don't need those two? Okay, because this one is just like broken. What the actual F? Fuck it. All right, like this, and now I'm gonna put that back this like this hello all right like this and go with four this one will go with one Boop. all right so i got the guys over there so the thing is this little dude over here will always uh always be there yeah all right screw it Okay, so icon there, and this will be a guide. Uh, okay, so uh, icon, and now I need to do this and to say this is a symbol, and I need to clean that up. So it should be there. All right. I don't have any more coffee. Sad face. Okay, in my model bestiary item, I now have something else. I'm gonna cut. Well, nah, yeah, fuck it. Ah, uh, yeah. For now, fuck it. I'm just gonna say like uh, uh, view bestiary item over here. I need an icon now, so this will be called an icon. Boom, like this. So icon go to and stop model enemy get frame like this. And for now, frame will be equal to index plus one because it starts at zero. So it should just be like zero, one, two, three. Very, very simple, so I can test it out. But you know, right now, you know, usually I should make another uh, variable right over there and say, okay, this, you are, you are frame one, you are frame two and everything, you know. Uh, I should do that and then manually go into all the uh, bestiary enum here and add the frame, you know. I should do that. And I'm kind of halfway there now, so fuck it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but I wanna explain to you why, or when you want to be lazy, how to actually be efficient and be clean in your laziness. All right? This frame equal P frame. And this should go there. 
So what I wanted to say earlier is like, this is the proper way to do it because I know in the future uh, it will be easier to maintain because if I go there, for example, and switch that up and put it there, the index will be messed up and then the visual will be, will be weird. And since this will, will have like a class of this, this class will look like this in the future, uh, which one is 17? You know, it's going to be like very hard to, to, to know which one is which, you know, when you only have four, it's all good. So, uh, but right now, oh, uh, there we go, boom. <clears throat> but if I want to be lazy, at the very least, I need to put that in here. I need a function that says return the frame. This is a task that I'm giving to model vestiary item over there. Uh, like here. View here doesn't want to know what the hell is going on in, the, in this uh, function here. It knows that it's its job to return the correct frame, you know? So here, if I call get frame, it should just return the correct frame. Whatever magic here happens, we don't care. In this class, you should not care, you know? And when you start to separate the task like this in your head, this task should go there, this task should go there and all that, it becomes really easier to debug afterwards. Because if something doesn't show properly on the screen, it's either the data's fault or the view's fault. So then you can just test like each one separately, you know? Uh, so what I wanted to say is even if I want to be lazy, like I said earlier, if I do just put like index plus one here, uh, just for convenience and check out if everything works, that's good. Uh, but you want to put that in a function that should, uh, how can I say that? You want to put that in a function that one's going to be working correctly. I don't know words anymore. You want to put that in a function that's going to be called everywhere in your code. So then if you only fix that function, the behavior of that function, uh, it's going to be fixed everywhere else, you know? So, uh, yeah, for this time, I'm going to put frame like this. So I got the icon over there. I got that. So if everything is good, everything should be exactly the same. Except here. I forgot to save this. Do I have a typo here in enemy small? Not oh, fixed now. Yeah, frame five. Thank you, guys. Yay, Carl, Becky, Jack, they're all there. So it's exactly the same. The difference now is I have access to this icon over there. So if I put, uh, uh, it's it's all by programmation, by by code. Earlier it was not by code. It was just uh, like a, a, a texture on top of it, you know. But now it's all good. Uh, so what we can do now is in view bestiary item, we're gonna have a little function. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do one thing first. So I'm gonna say like uh, if is owned. Uh, no, if has been discovered. Like this. Maybe no number of time you killed it, but whatever. For now, we're gonna say like if has been discovered. What I want to do is uh, reset the color meaning don't put any tint on it. Otherwise, I want you to go like inca set color black percentage int and uh, it's probably not gonna put, no. I think I, I can do the, this one? No, this one? No, I don't have it. Duh, I don't have it, whatever. A hundred, uh, no, it's probably minus something. Uh, I don't know, I don't have the function in Berserk, in Berserk engine, this one. Set color to, yeah, all right, icon, and I'm gonna put the uh, free tree, free tree, free tree. It's gonna be like a, a dark gray. So if it's discovered, don't put any uh, tint, otherwise put a gray tint on it. Now, has been discovered. What we're gonna do just to test it out, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something very dirty, very bad here, but I know that the task inside the function <coughs> should be there. So if I want to refer to the same task or the, the same data everywhere, I can call this function and then fix it later. So for now, I'm just going to say, is the index equal one or two? There you go. So 
So only one of them will be discovered. This one. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And now I have another problem. Uh, when I do select it, I think I can fix it here. Okay, cool. Yay, nice. So you can see that the uh, I index two right over here. That's exactly it. So that's zero, one, two, and three. So there you go. Now the other thing uh, we should do is to have the animation running only when you have selected it. That that's what I believe. So <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna go like if should uh, animate. Like this, because now I don't know if it should be when you're selected and discovered, or if it's only selected. But that decision will be inside this function right over there. So uh, I need another movie clip. Get movie clip. Icon child zero, which will be icon. You guessed it. Get child at zero. Okay, like this. If should animate, I'm just gonna go with uh, return button. Where is it again? Visual button is selected. That should do it, I believe. Uh, actually, you know what? Just for now, because I think it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna say like animate nom only number three. Uh, icon, icon. You know, call this icon child. The hell is happening? Icon child zero stops, or even go to and stop zero. Else, else, like this. And now I fucked up. I need to put play instead. Play. All right. So if I should animate, just play the thing. Otherwise, just stop at the first one. And also, I believe now I need to do a little something first. Uh, call construct frame symbol manager. Uh, where it is X symbol manager? Symbol manager. Ah. X. Is that it? <laughs> I'm not explaining much here. P fret or P F rat. Welcome aboard, my friend. Thank you very much for the follow. Sorry if I messed up your name. I love you. Hey, how good? How goes, good sir? Thank you very much, man. Princess Daisy, hey, your mic is really glitchy sounding. Is it? Is it? My mic is glitchy sounding. Ah. Oh damn it! I don't know why everything is glitchy. Sometimes. Uh, it sounds good to me. Okay, cool. At least uh, I'm gonna see if it's only. Uh, if it's only for one dude, but I apologize for that. And also, did I forget my water? I did forget my water. Stupid latch is stupid. Okay, so here, since I refer to a child of something that I'm missing with the go to and stop right now, I want to force construct what's inside the icon before I refer to the child. Because if here I say go to and stop two, and I don't force the construct frame, it will happen on the next frame. So I won't be able to. Uh, uh, the, the first child will be will still be the the uh, the, uh, the other one. So I force construct here, uh, just to be sure. Uh, and here I think there's something that says like yeah. There we go. There's already something that does that. All right. So if I do this, uh, almost, almost. You can see that uh, almost. Jack is uh, Jack is there. There's something on top of of Steve. I think it's something here. Yes, there we go. There was still something. There was still a hidden Steve right over there. Get the hell out. So everything should be good then, just because of that hidden Steve. Start. Hey, 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 oh, 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 oh. hey, 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 no. Boom. There we go. So only Jack is animated. So at least that's work. That works. 
Now, uh, 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 we're gonna see uh, later on what's happening or what we should do. Now, I, I hate those, so I'm just gonna do this whoop, and put it there. Like this. Uh, I will have to like rename everything and all that. So for now, uh, screw that for now. Just gonna have those for now. All right, those four. I know it's that, but yeah, fuck it. Uh, since we're at it, this like this reference point is kind of weird. I'll put everything in there and then put that in there. Put like this. Okay, uh, we got this, we got this dude over here as well. Those doesn't fit, but uh, one thing, one first. We have only four enemies. We're gonna start with those four enemies. Boot. Yay, okay. That works, everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful like hell. Okay, so we got that. Now it has been discovered and should animate. Um, this will be stored. This will not be stored. The reason I did not put that into the model enemy, again, earlier I said that um, uh, the uh, information that is variable should not be in a class called model. It should be in a class called meta. So we're gonna create that meta because that metadata will need to be saved according to the game file. Uh, meaning that a game, uh, if you have discovered enemy X, Y, and Z, it has to be saved somewhere on the disk or uh, on the cloud or whatever, you know? And information from model is never saved because they are static, they are constant, so they don't uh, change it never. So for example, the, the name of the enemy, Steve, we don't need to save that anywhere. We just need to refer it in the code. Uh, so we don't need to save that. But the information of has it been discovered, how many times we killed it, that has been stored in the uh on the disk so this information will be in, in will be in this information will be in another cl class called meta something so we're gonna create that class and then we're gonna save it in on the disk hey latch have you ever worked with an with active ragdoll i did made some tests like long time ago just for the funsies um we made uh uh, yeah, I did make some stuff, and I actually want to try to do it again for uh, for more content in that particular game. I have a stream in the background, and I thought I was doing weird stuff with Steve a moment. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not not that Steve. Another Steve. Uh, okay, so we're gonna create that class. Let's do it. So instead here, instead of having a model, since we have a um, data that change, we're gonna change it for meta. So meta enemy here, and then we're gonna do like meta bestiary something blah blah blah. Okay, it says I don't know what you're talking about. So we're gonna create that class, meta bestiary item. Hello. All right, there we go. Boom. And now I'm gonna do like a public uh, model inside that meta I told you earlier. Uh, we need to do a model. So the model will be model uh, enemy, whatever. Model bestiary item enum. I'm gonna put null for now because I don't care. And uh, here we'll have. Um, I told you we need to save and code it. So I have something called encode and save. Boom. So stuff to save. Uh, I'm gonna say like uh, killed. There we go. So killed. Uh, and actually, I'm gonna switch it for num killed because I hate it. Num killed. Num killed. Num killed. Num killed. Like this. And this here, I believe I have something called obg dot. Uh, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna fix it first. Hash table. Just add this. The reference here. It says like, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. So this will be an int. Hint will be a zero. Like this. Now I ah, we have a new sub. Lunchkin, a new sub. Let's join the battle. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> Woohoo! A new sub. It's been a while, man. Yay! I like it. Uh, <clears throat> I forgot about all this. I used to do that every single day. Man, um, I used to do uh, do a stream every single day. When I when I can stream like it's it's weird. Etienne told me told me pfft, Etienne told me I want a bestiary in Infernax. And uh, this morning I said like okay I'm gonna start it up. And I could not really 
I was not really in the mood to do it. And then I just realized, I was like, hey, I can stream it. And I can do the entire thing. And also I can do like a feature challenge and all that. And that got me excited. I was like, okay, I have a time limit. I should do it and like in two hours. Let's do it. <laughs> so that got me excited. Uh, and I, I mean, I'm glad that you guys enjoy it as well. I get new subs and new followers. So yay, everybody win. Uh, okay, since it's data that has been going to be uh, saved and clear, any data that is being saved, sometimes you want to erase your game as well. And once you want to erase your game, you want to put the data to its default state. In this case, a num killed. What will it be? It will be zero. So this class here, I'm going to call it here. And I'm just going to put everything back to zero. In that case, I only have this here. All right. So that will be it. Bestiary, bestiary, all that. I believe that I have something called get int. Yeah. Nice. Nice. There we go. Nim killed. Yeah. I made a little extension here where I can say like a key and default value and all that. And it's just going to check if I can do it. It's going to return to me. Blah, blah, blah. So I really like it. Because usually when you just say like a hash table and then this, if it does not have the key, it just break. Like everything, the entire, it, it causes a crash. You know, if you call it, if you try to refer to this with a key that does not exist, game crash, which is a little bit over the top, you know. Uh, so I made something that just says like, okay, before crashing, just verify. Is it, is, it a, is it an okay value what I'm trying to do? If not, just return me a default value like this. And if if do if if yes, please give me the the proper value. <clears throat> so it's just like a little safety, uh, and then it also convert everything into the proper uh, type, proper format. Okay, so I have this, and uh, you know the information I had earlier in the view view bestiary item here. I'm just gonna ah, Jeb! Oh my God, Jeb! One of the OG. Case in point, one of the OG, my friend, 62 months. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cool. How you been, man? It's been forever. Oh my God. Uh, Lord Lad is saying, do we track how many times each of the monsters kill the player latch? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, maybe, but if it's an information that we need to track it down, if it's an information that we do, it's going to be in there here in the sake of code. So it will be easier or easy to do. I'm just going to say easy, but uh, again, just refer to the number of time we killed X enemy or whatever. Uh, uh, sometimes showing some information to the player implies some stuff that might be uh, bad, actually, for a game. Uh, for example, if I say the number uh if i say uh has this monster killed you or not like have you seen the animation yes or no if we show it to the screen for completionists like me we might want to do every one of them but then it goes to a weird case where you have to die on a monster that you already killed and so you have to restart a new game just to go on bus four and die on it you know just so you can collect that star so that's that's something that you have to be, to be you have to be careful but in any case right now what we're doing on this stream is just gathering the data here and there so if that information will be stored or shown to the player this is where we're gonna have to put it uh in on code uh so here i told you earlier we had something called um we had the information here so hang on boom 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 okay here instead of uh, has been discovered this should not be inside the view this is not the, the views job to tell me that information this is actually the meta enemy job to do it so has been discovered this here i'm just gonna say return num killed equal or bigger than one there we go so if you killed it you uh, you discovered it so that should be good. Uh, knowing, uh, and in that uh, in that case here should animate. Uh, it's not an information that's going to be passed 
here. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna say like if meta enemy has been discovered, like if it's not been discovered, I'm gonna say wow. I'm gonna say return false. There we go. And otherwise, for now, I know it's probably not gonna work, but uh, I'm just gonna do this. So. If it's not been discovered, no, never animated. But if it's selected and discovered, yes, do it. You know, I could do uh, that's something too, right? This could be like this, and that's how you learn to do it. Oh god, what the fuck happened? Uh, that's how you do. You learn to do it in school. There you go. You know, if this and this, if A and B and c and d the problem is what i see uh what i tend to do or what my code tend to do as i maintain it as i put more line of code in it i tend to go with condition four or condition five seven and condition you get my point right so that line of code becomes more and more unreadable so that's why I always put it like one condition by condition. So if I go there, has it been discovered? Return false right there. You stop. You stop the rest of the function. I don't care what's happening under this. It needs to be discovered. So if I add even more condition, it's one condition per line and it's it flows way better by doing this, you know. So I tend to do that. Uh, like this, for example, I don't like this. I don't like the flow of this thing here. What I should do is uh, refresh tint, or not even tint actually, refresh uh, discoverability, but uh, I'm gonna call it refresh tint for now. So refresh tint, and then I'll put that in refresh tint, like this. And finally here, uh, refresh animation. I'm gonna put that entire thing in there. Refresh animation. That's way much better, like this. So when you look at the refresh thing, I refresh the title, I refresh the desk, I refresh the icon, and then the tint, and then the animation. Boop, 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 boop. One line by one line. I don't care what's happening in refresh tint. The line of code here says it's gonna refresh the tint. So if I have like a wild loop and like big freaking uh, absurd line of code in there, I don't give a shit because it says refresh tent. Your job is to do that. You should do it. That's it. And if it works, there you go. You can dis you can forget how it works. You can uh, you can trash that up from your memory, your your brain memory. You just say, okay, this job is working. It it I tried it. It works. It's there. If I need to call you, it's gonna work. But uh, get get out of my mind, basically. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna put meta enemy to null, and I'm just gonna do a real, really quick thing here. Equal enemy to null, return like this. Uh, and I believe I broke everything because usually I was uh, I was getting a model. Now I'm getting a meta, so I'm gonna go to the thing that's calling me. So that's this. But group, I believe, or select. Yeah, so no, this select. No, <laughs> select. There we go. So this is like model, 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 model. So now we need another class meta bestiary item group. Uh, meta bestiary. And actually, I think it just should be like a meta bestiary, but uh, screw that. All right, there we go. So now we need a public. Uh, this will take care of only having a meta bestiary item list. I'm just gonna call it this. Fuck it. This like this. Boom. All right. And I need a function that will go. Well, okay. I need a function that will go instead of getting the model enemy here. It needs to be meta enemy. Meta, well, meta enemy like this and now I'm gonna take the meta bestiary item here I'm gonna say that get from model like this I'm gonna create this and finally I'm just gonna return just really quick 
I'm just gonna return this model enemy. A no, I don't like this. I should do something else. Ah, okay, for now I'm just gonna do index. It's gonna be real bad, but I. Uh, I know I make zero sense right now, and I apologize for that. But I'm about to enter like a bad thing. Uh, okay, let's do for for each or model bestiary item and own all and count. Boom. Uh, just gonna do like list <coughs> add new meta bestiary item. I'm gonna put this. And go like get from index i is that it i think that's it okay and here i don't have the constructor i'm gonna add the constructor boom model bestiary item for now i'm just gonna do like this i know bestiary item is kind of a better name but screw it model enemy like this all right so i'm gonna create so what i'm doing right now is create oh yeah I'm creating a list of all the meta and I told you earlier that the meta contain a model so based on all the model out, out there I'm gonna create an entry which will have variables in there so a, mod, uh, a meta in here so then I'm gonna ask when I want to show it on the screen I need uh, with the select over here I pass the model I say hey give me the data associated with this enemy so what I'm doing here is get from model. So I pass the model here and it should give me back the meta associated with that model. One meta, uh, one meta associated with one model. Sometimes more meta is associated to the same model. That can happen as well. But for now, it's, uh, it's most of the time it's just one one. <clears throat> All right, so I hope it makes sense, but uh, whatever. I'm just gonna throw stuff at the internet sometimes gonna make sense sometime maybe not it's kind of complex stuff but i'm just gonna uh, I, i'm opening my brain and communicate it out there and uh maybe it's gonna make sense if you hear me over and over and over uh okay so i got that uh, bestiary group here uh, the bestiary group here now should be, should be into the meta game progress although it should be in there but it should not be in the games so in the game this is information that will not stored in a single save file if you have multiple save file in the, your game it has to be combined from all the save file so uh what i'm gonna do here i think i'm just gonna be here meta bestiary like this so the bestiary will be here like this boom Create this, please. All right. But sorry. Yes, I don't care. Did I break my game? I think I broke it. I'm gonna go back to the chat now. I think my game, my my computer just broke. So every time I see 15-2 anywhere, I hear lash in my head. <laughs> Oh no, slash type is so fast and tab key while nobody can see what is writing. Ooh, tab key. Uh, make her image. Hey man, make her images. It's been a while. <laughs> I still have your song in my head on random internals. Hi, a monkey man. Uh, okay, so I broke the thing. I am so fast, guys. I broke internet. I broke, uh, not internet, but I actually broke the, the game. So uh, yeah, a little interval, a little, um, a little break. Just gonna break you, man. Boom, break. Get the hell out. Get it out of my sight. All right, there you go. Okay, I don't think I lost a lot of it. No, nope, I don't lost. I don't. I did not lost a lot of progress, like at all. Okay. Mm, yeah. Public. 
meta bestiary item group i think it's the yeah meta items uh and this will be a new class of this boom like this and uh, finally encode the code i'm just gonna put that there and then go like uh encode like this this will be an ash table boom uh again i need a function called clear Oops, clear like this and this will call the clear on that other thing uh meta item encode don't i have that oh i don't have it all right so meta encode blah 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 uh okay so that no though i need to go with i think i need to do that that's the part where i was like uh not sure uh result is that result okay result Okay, now here is gonna be like I'm gonna go through my list so I can just go like with the for each for each item in a list like this. Okay. I wanna go with this and then this will go into this whoops item model enemy ID will be equal to item dots encode that thing here all right so i just making an ash table a dictionary where the id of the model since the model uh, id are always unique i make uh, sure of that uh, i'm just encoded there so that should be good and now uh what i'm gonna do is go through the list so i think it can go again when i decode it i'm trying to do this but i need to check out this if it contains the id yeah i'm gonna decode the id like this that should do it because this is a bit tricky can i do it uh, i need to do like get ash table i guess yeah get ash table boom okay what does it do if it's uh, uh return null okay so i can just decode it like this right oh yeah okay fuck it Ooh. okay so the problem here with the save system especially in the list is sometimes you release your game and you only have 10 uh, 10 enemies and then you release a dlc and it's now 15 enemies so you have you save only 10 but now you have to check out for 15. So you have to be sure that when you go back into your serve file and you say like, hey, give me item 14, for example, which does not exist because it's not saved. It was it did not exist, but you don't want to trash the save file, right? You just want to convert it. You just want to be sure that it does not break and just stop the game entirely with a corrupted thing. Because when you have a corrupted data, the proper thing, the proper thing to do as a game dev is to disregard it and ignore it which means it busted your save file uh otherwise if you try to start the game with something corrupted the rest of the game will just bug anyway so you're stuck in limbo you know if you see a corrupted data you ignore it you bust it and you erased it but if your own code detects an older file as a uh, false positive as corrupted data because you forgot to uh, to make it maintainable you're screwed and lots of people will be mad at you for erasing this you know so in this case when I save I look at the list the list is created from the uh, item and right over there so if I add a new element there uh, I'm gonna check at the list here and I'm gonna ask the save file give me the give me the the, the the number or all the data associated there this will return null if i don't have it and this here if it's null it's just gonna disregard it so we're good we're good uh there we go uh why so get from model i think that should be good as well and since i save it by id and other thing as well i save it by id here Hang 
on just a bit. Yeah, since I save it by ID here, if I saved it with order instead, like save zero at zero, save one at, at one and all that, if in the future I entered a model enemy here in the model, everything will be the will be uh, offset it, you know. So enemy number two will now be on enemy four, so everything will break. It not will it would not cause like a corrupted data, but it will show weird stuff on the screen. So you just want to be sure that it's associated with the ID here. So if you add more data here, like this. It, does, it will not care about the position that you're in in there, you know? Those are all stuff that I learned the hard way, my friend. Especially in some oil. That was... Uh, woo! That was wow. And uh, <clears throat> now the reason why I made yet another class for that... Oh yeah, I need to clear. For each... Whoop, like this. Item. Whoops. Item here. Okay, so if I go into my game progress, you can see that I have something called Meta Bestiary here. Uh, oh yeah, I need to encode it. Encode games. Encode games. Encode options. What the hell? Save to local. Save to. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Save that. Uh, where this is. Save. Oh my god, that's bad. That's bad. I can put it in this options. Uh, boo, that's bad. Encode games. Well, I can always do this. Screw it! That will work. Anyway. Encode. There we go. And the code games pop, blah blah blah. The code game, yeah, yeah, yeah. This can be replaced with clear. I'm not gonna change that. Like, I'm so afraid to break stuff. All right, so here, load data meta bestiary dot the code game. This thing here, load data, get hash table. What the fuck am I doing? That thing over there. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna decode this, uh, decode in the decode game. I hate that, you know, because the name of the function right now does not do one thing, it does two. It does decode the game, but it also decode the bestiary as well. So it's bad. We should rename this. But for the sake, for the sake of the stream, I'm just gonna continue. So what I wanted to say is meta bestiary here. Why did I do meta bestiary and also meta bestiary item group? I should put the same because it's basically doing doing the same. So why uh, am I making two of them? The reason is usually there's the uh, for this for this instance there's the bestiary and there's also just the list of item. So, so pfft. usually you're gonna have a class like either it's an item or a group of item, like a list of item, and you usually have both of them, you know. Uh, but sometimes you need only the list, like a class that only have a list, so you can share it in other classes. But if you group, if you give the entire thing, like the entire bestiary, to somebody else, it does not make a uh, sense in another context you have to remove the list from the bestiary put that in an actual uh you know an actual um uh, class separated class and uh and then give that to the, the other view for example uh, equipments in a game you know like uh equipment in a diablo uh game so you have the meta equipment you have like the item right there hey luca is waiting for a party at 10. welcome, welcome aboard my, my friend thank you very much for the host uh, <clears throat> so you have the item, you have the list, and you have like a hero inventory. So a hero inventory contain the list, which contain the list of items. And, uh, yeah. But then when you want to just send an inventory to the shop, so the shop has an inventory as well. You don't want to pass the hero inventory because the hero inventory will have stuff that is associated with the hero. But in the shop, we, there's nothing associated with that, you know. So you create 
hero inventory inventory and inventory item so then when you can pass something to another view you know uh you can restrain it to what you want you can focus to what you want so that's why i'm doing this here just out of practice out of experience i know that i usually need three separate thing i don't think that it's in this context i need to make three class but i know that it bites me in the ass like a lot of times so now i just do this practice all the time i hope it makes sense if it does well uh, sorry uh metal item okay get ash table uh, metal item the code no the code Okay, the code clear, clear, clear. Metal entire group, uh, blah, blah, blah. Get from model, all of that. That should be good. Clear, less, best. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, that thing here, I'm gonna go to the view bestiary select now. Here, uh, I have the meta bestiary. So here, I need to go like in meta item, I think. Meta item. Get from model, and that should be good. It does, does it compile? I'm not sure if I com it compile. Okay, so it does compile. Let's see if it works. We've been coding for a long time. Okay, it does work. It does work. I did not break anything, at least. So now we're gonna try something. Uh, into the meta bestiary here. Uh, let's do something stupid. Not stupid, but uh, let's do a debug. Set dummy. So that's something I, I usually do if I want to try out if everything works. I want to to put a dummy data over there. Uh, I call it like debug with with big caps on it. So you should not see that anywhere in the game. If I want to be extra careful, I can go into project info and just ask, is it debug? So if I have a release date, if I'm really if I'm releasing the game, uh, if I make a build which is on a release date, which is not on debug disregard this function so even if i call it by accident it's gonna say like no no, no 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 don't do it you know so if i am not in the bug return so it has to be in the bug to do something here so now i'm gonna do item get from model i'm gonna go and get uh model bestiary item and i'm gonna take two and three so Mr. 2 and 3, I'm gonna go and uh, get from model. Don't I have the num kill? I don't have the num kill, hang on. Yeah, that's private. Public. And uh, just to be uh, funsies, I'm gonna say that I register death. I kind of uh, like this. <clears throat> register death. And register death will just be num kill plus plus. Wow, like this, and this one I'm gonna make like three times. This one I'll make two. And if I want to do something a little bit more beautiful in the view, you remember when I said the desk here it returns like empty? Uh, now the desk here won't be into the model. I'm gonna ask it to the enemy, and on the meta enemy, I will ask him, Can you give me the number of killed? string and I'm just gonna add like a, uh, I don't call this this there we go all right uh, oh I forgot to call the function remember I tell I told that so much time if I go into the uh, meta game progress over here and I have the debug thing set, set debug dummy uh, I need to do that into. I'm gonna go into init Simon. So into init Simon here, custom start. Here I'm just gonna say, hey, can you have my meta bestiary? Can you call the debug set dummy first? All right, boom. Start. Look at that. So beautiful. It is so beautiful. It makes me cry. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Okay, so now it's not animating. And one thing you can we can see right now. Ah, my God, that was. <laughs> Jack, you scared me. 
You scared me, Jack. Seven months and still fighting. Thank you very much, Jack. <laughs> I'm giving money to you, not the opposite. Give your filthy money. <laughs> you kind of feel like uh, we're in a cult. I pay you to be in our team, and then you just give it all. <laughs> you give it back in donation and subscription. So you end up like uh, in Tiger King, uh, having like only a uh, hundred a week. 100 bucks a week. That's what we give at Bizarre Studio. 100 bucks a week. But you get to pet me. <laughs> you can stuff us. We can give each other some money. Oh, there we go. So, like, we're going to have, like, infinite money like this. We're just like, pet whoa, what the hell happened? Oh, I think that the uh, the thing is just triggered. Oh, look. And we can see that it's saving. Because it's adding three and twos. So it's saving. Because now it, it, it loads the older data and then adds three on top of it so we did it guys we did it. it it does work okay so uh one thing we can see that i really don't like on this view is the zero here it's kind of weird like you don't say like you killed it zero time it's kind of weird so we're just gonna remove uh very 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 easily i'm gonna go here in the vesture item in the get description we know that that's this job here the description uh, so if num killed is lower or equal to zero, return string dot empty. The old piece of information. I could have done this instead of string empty. However, this is a shortcut to create a string. So sorry, it does create a new string by doing that. So it it, it has a little thing in the memory. Well, it has an entry in memory. So if you have a loop, for example, of uh, 10,000 million that just uh, does this inside a string, it's going to create a shit ton of string, you know? Whilst this one here is a reference to something that already is created. So it's just a little something if you want to be sure. Uh, like this, for example, that's bad. I should do constant and uh, I think it's minus. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Minus. So like this, I have a reference to that. That should be better, you know. Uh, but it also, woohoo, Mr. Bond, Mr. Bond, thank you very much, my friend. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, does the first return exit the function? Yes, yes. So here, if it's uh, if it's under zero, it's not gonna go and do the rest. So, uh, if I do this, it should be working. Yay! Look at that! Yay! Steve Carl! And now, I don't want to be named Steve. I want to show some mystery here. So, how about, instead of being like minus equals zero, we can also say that this is this task over here. Because let's say... Let's say that in the future, the discoverability of the enemy is not equal to this task over here. Uh, it will not be re there, it will not be reflected in here, you know. So uh, since the uh, num kill minus zero or something uh, represent the discover discoverability, uh, I don't know if it's a word, but whatever that word, uh, it, since it re since it reflects the task. Of has it been discovered? Yes or no? I should call the function. So if I ever change this, it will be reflected everywhere. That's my point. Uh, now, same thing here. I ask the model enemy, "What's your title?" But now I should ask the meta enemy, "What's your title?" Here, because it will change. It will change. If I discovered it, I'm gonna return something. Otherwise, I will return the proper. Thing. So get title str. So if it has not been discovered, I'm gonna return text constant. Uh, I think I have something for secret. Do I have? No, I don't have it. I'll add it. Secret. Yeah. Secret. There you go. So if I call this function a million times, it's not gonna create a new. Uh, you don't call this. If I can if I call this function a million times, it's not gonna create new uh, strings all the time. You know. So if I want to refresh the screen, for example, uh, it's not gonna create new things. If I had done 
if I had done this instead, and then I call the function a million times, it's gonna create a lot of space in memory. Not that much, but still, it's something, it's there. It's there, and then your garbage collector passes, and then uh, boom, everything, uh, everything lags a bit. Like this thing here should be the same. It should be like in a constant and all that. But now it tends to be a little bit tricky. I don't like to do it for the sake of uh, the code being oddlier. So I prefer like this. So let's check it out. Uh, yay! Yeah, look at that. I got like uh, those little thing over here. So uh, now I wanted to do the animate thing. It does not refresh it. So the reason why it's not refreshing is because when I press the button to change the uh, uh, to select the new item, it does not call the refresh function, which the refresh function tells me, hey, I should animate it, yes or no. You know. Uh, so now in the best area, I just want to check out because I don't remember how it does. Uh, I just bored. Oh my god, it's so bad. That is so bad. Okay, do event on visual. Check for shortcut. Select next. Check for shortcut. Shortcut down. Okay, so that does select the thing. Do you have a do you have a callback on this? Do I call a refresh? I don't call refresh as well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, how could I do that? How could I do that? Check for shortcut, shortcut, yeah, button, get ID button, button select, get ID button, select button, okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, do I have something? I probably don't have a callback there. No, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, something I can do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, can I? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take this like, icon highlighted and I'm gonna create another one, which is gonna be this, exactly the same. Upgrade that, okay. So I don't need this, I don't need this. So I got icon and uh, I'm gonna call it like icon selected. Icon selected will be there. And uh, how can I do that? Like this one should be animated and the other one should not. So this will be there with like an alpha zero. And that's the other one. That will be like icon static. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so icon selected. I, uh, yeah, okay, icon, <laughs> yeah, icon play and icon stop. Let's do it like this. So it's gonna be kind of weird, but it will work, all right? Trust me, it will. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, okay start to get like my brain is starting to, to melt a bit icon selected no i can play i can play and this one will be i can play as well now this will be icon stop and this one will be icon stop as well okay so i'm just separating the thing so if i go like this it should only see you oh new host riddle husky what's up my friend thank you very much for the host okay so you are here i can play and then you are here yay what about you you are here i can stop and then you are here but you should be there all right so it should be like this all right cool so i'm gonna try this i can play i can stop the reason is I don't want to make a callback to just like say, hey, when I press the uh, when I press the button, just do it by code and all that, because I feel that more will happen in the future. 
because sometimes I want to do some stuff, some animation by code because oh, it's going to be easy. And then you add like another one and then another one. And then it's always a little bit off while you can just do it in code, uh, like in animate really quickly and you're good. So I'm going to try to do this. Although I feel my brain is stupid right now. I feel I'm doing something really stupid. No, fuck it. I don't like it. No, 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 no. Back, 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 revert. Reep, reep, reep. I really don't like this. Screw it. I don't like it. I really don't. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Did I? Okay. That's icon. I kind of light it. There you go. So I'm going to change that to icon. Okay. I really don't like it. I was about to make like a twice the same thing, but like. Okay. But it's going to be like. Uh, it would have been unreadable. And then, like, if Shane or FX will go in that code, you'll be like, what the hell is this? You know? So that's bad. That's bad. Okay, well, back to square one. All right, we got that. Okay, so in the um, in the uh, the thing, I screen photo select. That's their button group. That's their. I kind of want to add a button in there. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Public callback group. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a callback. It's gonna be way easier. On select this and I will be like this uh, I think this was select button select button if it does not contain uh, and then I'm just gonna do call here select button select button so it all goes into the select button all right so that will be way easier you know what button group Callback on select, add function, and I'm just gonna call refresh. Like this. Should be good. Uh, this, by the way, I don't need that anymore. I don't need you anymore. Okay, so when I do a new callback, I'm gonna refresh the entire screen. I should refresh just the selected, but uh, I'm gonna go like this. Was way easier than the other thing I was trying to do. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, sweet. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. Hello, Ridudioski. I'm good. Just playing just ships and bees going through story mode. Oh, who? Does Zombino still have a player uh, generate revenue? It does revenue some revenue. Nothing compared to what we used to have. Uh, the player base was going down and down, uh, actually. And, um, well, okay, it all starts with the engine we selected back then, uh, three or four years ago. So our, uh, our expertise were in Flash. We would do it in the air, and it's quite impressive what we... Uh, I'm very, very proud of what we've been able to do uh, with the engine. Uh, and I know there's a meme of like, ah, Flash is dead, Flash is stupid, Flash is bad. But with Flash in the air, we've been able to push it like on several platform really easily and keep like a update cycle of very fast new stuff, new stuff all the time, you know. And we did not have the uh, engine that we now have in Unity back then. Uh, so with what we had in, in, in hand, it was very good that we had that. But now hair... You know, air is being more and more deprecated. So it's become like more and more difficult for us to release on uh, iOS and Android and Steam and all those places because it relies on a lot of API. For example, showing up an ad or showing up stuff like that. So it relies on a lot of API that did not support the platform anymore because the platform being announced deprecated and all that. So it became very difficult and difficult to update the game on those platforms. So if we want to release on iOS, for example, 85% of our time we're just trying to freaking make it pass through the certification process of Apple. 
Uh, so we in the end we lost like a million of times. So that ten that made us made less and less update because it became like more increasingly difficult to work in the game. You no, know? so as a result we have like less player and uh, we have less revenue and all that. But we are to a point where we can at least leave the server costs. We can at least like take the revenue and put that into the server costs. You know, because there's a million of. Uh, of games save file out there that is being saved uh, and that costs money uh, but at least the revenue that we get can put it back there you know so we're not to a point where we were like okay if, we, if just having the game out it cost us money you know at that point we're gonna have to like pull the entire plug on the project you know say like okay well it's been good thank you very much but it, it's time to say goodbye but right now we're just kind of like kif kif you know so yeah, haven't just uh, haven't seen you stream for years. How you doing, mate? <laughs> hey man, the freak. How you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm working on it for next. Doing on the professional stuff. Uh, doing on a bestiary actually. I got this working. Look at that. So beautiful. Uh, I'm actually very happy of this. I think I'm gonna stop the streaming here. It's been uh, already uh, almost three hours that I've been streaming. So it's starting to be. Uh, a nice stream. It's not finished. It's finished ish. I'm actually happy of what we have right now uh, Now we're gonna have to have a, a page system uh, also uh, Well, yeah, I think it's only the page system at this point Yeah, I need the, uh, the page system <clears throat> that will be a big I don't know how to do it for now so I need to do something like this and then like have too big here for example boop, boop. having like two more big here something like that and then be sure that whatever we put here will be uh, will be done there so yeah and I, I can feel my brain starting to look for a sentence and make sense and all that and then I, with that freaking animate thing I just made here i almost went to a very weird reasonable solution while the solution was very easy like two and i have coded that's it but my brain was starting to go like ah fuck it let's do this you know so i think it's time to say goodbye i think it's time i can i can watch the the, the, the chat though so some vital two and 22 two, 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 two. <laughs> nice let's do it in 2222 we're gonna do it Somebody will tune Unity, please. Yeah, yeah. Like if we ever do some, like any other project that we're gonna do, it's all Unity for now. Uh, yes, I know, you know. Uh, yeah, but Unity is way better than Flash and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, and yes. We are converted to totally in Unity now. Uh, I was, uh, I didn't like Unity for a long time, but in 2019, August 2019, they made a big change that I was like, oh, finally. Finally, the compile time like is instant because like right now if I want to compile look at that Look at how fast it is boom 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 back in the days. It was like 15 seconds uh, And waiting for Million of seconds just to show what's happening on the screen and I despised that I hated that because I was used to compile all the time and just to test out my stuff and flash and all that and uh, yeah, so having to wait 10 seconds every time I was compiling, that was something that broke my flow. Uh, I just wanted to test something quick and it wasn't working. And yes, I know you can put like game object on the screen and then I just retest and all that. Yes, I know all that, but it does not apply in how we uh, work here, you know? So uh, I, I sound I sound mad, I sound, <laughs> I sound angry, but no, I just like, I repeat myself all that and all, all this, but uh, no, no anger here, you know? We're all good, we're all good. Um, but uh, yeah, everything will be in Unity, that's my point. All, all the other projects we have, we have like three projects uh, cooking up right now, and it's all in Unity from uh, from start to finish. Uh, 2019 was a big game, uh, was a big, 2019 was a big, research and development year for us uh we uh i specifically made th put the entire year into refining our tools from flash to unity uh so we can work entirely in unity and we can also have different projects that has the same engine source 
uh, that we use for all the project. And if we fix something in one game, it reflects in the other game as well. So I spent the entire year last year in being sure that for now, everybody at Berserk, you know, uh, can fix or do something and it reflects on all the projects so we can all benefit from that. So yes, no more error. Thanks for the explanation. My pleasure, man. Apple's basically antagonistic towards anyone trying to work in the air and flash. Yes, and also Chrome. Google does not flag flash as well. If I open Google right now, uh, hang on, I just want to be sure that I'm not sharing something I should not. All right, just in case that my, uh, uh, no, it's not there. Okay, usually, I don't even want to share that, but usually <laughs> is my, uh, my main, uh, my shortcut screen of Chrome is a, is a, is a secret. But uh, when you open Chrome and you do have Flash Player activated, Chrome is gonna make a pleasure to tell you, hey, Flash is going to die, you should disable it. And it's been like years in doing that. Uh, so they've been doing that like for a long time. And my guess is because Flash had all the ad money and Google wanted them to die so we can use AdSense and their HTML5 money. I'm just gonna throw that there, all right? And then they use the old security thing and all that, but uh, that's my opinion, all right? If I'm being censored by Google right now and somebody else is talking over me and say like, no, Google is fine, Flash is bad. <laughs> At least you guys will know about it. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's my my take on it, because that was like a big witch hunt and pitchfork against Flash. And yes, there was security issue, but every freaking program has it. The big reason, uh, big reason uh, that uh, a lot of people, uh, uh, big reason it was the entry door of so much hacker is because the Flash player was installed by default on every single computer. So. It was the main entrance, you know, if it has been in another program, the other program would have been tested by all hackers. So, you know, if it, if you can get through that door, you get access to a shit ton of computer because that program is installed by default everywhere. So that's my point. Anyway. Anyway, looking forward to Berserk Engine in 2221. Yeah. I've been using Game Maker Studio for six years. Oh, cool. Slow uni learning Unity. As you mentioned, API are holding me back a lot. Yeah. That, that's such a pain, you know, you finish your game, it's all good, and then you're just like, can I just release it, damn it! And you look for support out there, and there's no one, or when some, when you ask your question, hey, how can you fix that in the air? Everybody's saying, ha, use Unity! Like, come on, you know, that's that's not helping. But, uh, yeah. Goodness, I love his accent. Hello, well, my accent, monkey man. My accent. Lash, do you use to uh, do you use build in Unity physics for movement? I must know. No, I don't. I don't use. I actually don't use Unity for anything. <laughs> Look, this is my scene. This is my scene right now, just right behind me. This is the entire game object of all the scene of the entire game of everything. You know. So we have only one scene with basically two game objects three just because of the input manager which is rewired but usually like a camera this which has only one script on it this has only one script it's called init simon and then when you open it let's say a starting point is a uh, castle one you go like boom the entire thing goes there and what's what's up there like again here Nothing. FTU means for Flash to Unity. There's like a bunch of things in there, but it's all, it's uh, it's only game objects to show like the texture on the screen and all that. But my point is like, I don't use Unity the way Unity want me to use it. There's no scene. I have my own scene system. Uh, so I don't load scenes and load assets and all that. I just manually do everything because I was manually doing it already in air. And uh, we're used to doing that, you know, and we control everything. We know that uh, we know that we control everything, basically, because we used to do it back in the days. Uh, so now we just do the same in Unity. And uh, for example, there was one bug that uh, our fellow indie developer here in Quebec City, 
there was one bug in Unity. I don't know if they fixed it, probably. Uh, but when you released it on uh, on console, uh, if you load a new scene, there was one bug sometime that Unity just crashed. So when you lose when you load a scene on a release build on console, sometime like one percent of the time, the game will break. You know, so it's it's kind of it's, it's bad, right? Uh, but when you send that to certification process, when you give that to um, uh, like either PlayStation, Nintendo, whatever, when their QA tester encounter a crash, they will stop it and they say like, hey, we got a crash at this moment, you cannot release the game because it has to pass their certification. So just loading a different scene in Unity sometime made a crash and if the tester at Nintendo or PlayStation or whatever encountered that bug, you could not release the game. Even if everything else was like super fun and everything very tight, if the if you if the tester rolled the dice and had like a a, a one or a one or a two, you could not release it, you know? And so it was just like, okay, I hope this one will work. You know, but we did not have this problem because we have only one scene and we unload and de deload everything. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a random value is over like in the, the, the Unity crash. Yeah, there you go. And then you have to pay the premium Unity to uh, unlock that feature. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but, yeah. All right, guys, I think I'm going to say goodbye. I'm really, really happy of today's stream. I've uh, been able to do a lot of stuff. And uh, you have been able to uh, to uh, punch that uh, demotivation right in the face. Uh, I've been able to be productive a bit today and to make another stream as well. So I really appreciate that. Uh, so thank you for sticking by. Thank you to all the sub. Thank you to all the new followers as well. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like streaming. I like to stream back. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it as well. So we're gonna raid somebody. I don't know who. Uh, probably smoke. I always punch smoke in the face. So, uh, probably going to do that. So, stick around if you want to uh, w watch Smoke uh, play something. Smoke is one of my friends. Variety streamer. Really like this guy. So, uh, playing game, he's, uh, he's very good. He's a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. All right. So, thank you all, guys. You guys are the best. Especially you. Goodbye.